a good Monday morning to you guys. Um, got me thinking over the weekend. Um, a lot of talk about you know how Rolex is cutting back um, you know, 30% what they're sending to their uh, distributors and you know this and that. They're you know and then also their price is going up. I think it's a wrong move for Rolex. <clears throat> I don't understand why they'd even want to do that. Um, the Swiss, the Swiss watch industry is just going nuts, really. I think, um, you know, it's pricing people out of the market. Um, you know, somebody that wants to have a Rolex watch, it's, it's making it even harder and harder to get. Um, <clears throat> why, you know, why? You know, they, they should be able to appeal to, to <clears throat> you know, the majority of the market, not just the upper upper crust. You know, it's not. It's Rolex is still not a uh, AP, you know, or or JLC in a lot of ways. You know, it's not a boutique brand. You know, it's not um, it's not a uh, super watch manufacturer like that. They're really not. I mean, Rolex is a high end brand. Yes, they make great watches. Yes, but it's not it's not up at that at that level. They need to stay where they are. You know, it's just like Omega trying to be up at that level, up at Rolex level. They're not either. You know, and they're they keep raising their prices and coming out with uh, you know all this you know crazy tech, new technology, which is great, but that doesn't justify all these uh, huge uh, markups and huge price tags. You know, it really doesn't. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I don't know. For me, I'm I've got my Omega, I've got my Rolex, so I'm 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 good with all that for right now. I'm I'm not gonna keep buying into this. You know, shit, it's ridiculous. You know, it's just, it's crazy. I, I'm, I'm a little disappointed with the Swiss, Swiss watch industry. I really am. I'd rather stick to uh, some, you know, if I'm going to buy more right now, I'm going to stick to some, ja you know, Japanese stuff for right now. Buy some cool, you know, Seikos, some cool Orient, stuff like that. You know, it's, it's almost like it's, it's, it's making the watch collecting, collecting unenjoyable, you know? Um, people say it's got to hurt in order for it to, to, to you know, for to, to be proud to own a watch. I think that's bullshit, really. I mean, if you like the way something looks and, and it's a, you know, really good price and it's what you like, then buy it, you know. And, you know, Orient's really opened my eyes up and, and Seiko's. I'm looking more at these little Seiko divers and shit like that. I mean, make watch collecting fun again, you know. I can remember when I first got into watches and I, you know, I you could buy a Speedmaster for, you know, 1200 bucks, you know, you know, a thousand bucks. You could buy a Seamaster for the same price and, and that was expensive, but it was like obtainable, you know? Now you can't touch that shit anymore. It's just ridiculous. It's crazy. It's just crazy. Um, where are they going? They're, 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 it's, they're mad. It's just crazy, you know? <clears throat> and for them to still hang the COSC shit over our heads, who gives a fuck? COSC? What, what you know you get you buy one that's supposedly COSC you know certified and you're still you know plus seven you're, you're at the cusp of the range you know you're all you're too far out or too far below and and you're still getting a watch that isn't accurate you buy an Orient and it's within those specs actually way better in those specs and you don't have to pay for anything and, and it doesn't even fucking matter as long as the damn thing is is you know 200 meter water resistance hey you could dive with it and, and it'll be accurate you know it's it's just crazy it's it's <clears throat> it's ridiculous you know and then omega with the metas shit and i mean come on guys you guys are going crazy you're going beyond what mo watchmaking really is you know it's just going beyond it's just it's getting ridiculous it's pricing people out of the market it's making it unenjoyable you know all these uh, all these other brands, you know, Orient, uh, you know, um, uh, Seiko, you know, even some lower end uh, watch manufacturers like maybe Oris, which is a company owned uh, brand, which makes some really cool watches. Yeah, they use uh, ETA and, and Stiletta or whatever it is, but but they're eating Rolex and Omega's lunch. I'm sure they're selling a shitload of watches, you know what I mean? Because they're still at that level. They're, pr they're still priced right, you know, but all these other ones, people are just they're out of their mind um, they're out of their mind and some people are probably like oh man this guy likes why you know Rolex and this and that I do but they're they're going crazy uh, they're pricing themselves out of the market
for most. It's just, I don't know, it's ridiculous. But um, hey, if you guys like this video, please subscribe. Please like it. Um, thank you very much. I'm over 300 subscribers. This is awesome. Let's keep this going. Um, you guys take care. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.